Good evening, baseball fans, and welcome to Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx, home of the New York Yankees as they play host to the Boston Red Sox here in Game 5 of the American League Championship Series. Yankees are up three games to one in this series, and here in Game 5, they have a chance to eliminate their arch-rival Boston Red Sox and move on to the World Series to take on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Game 1 was won by the Yankees, 4-1 to one was the final score, Game 2 was 12-1 to one Yankees, Game 3 was 5-4 to four Boston, and Game 4 was 10-2 to two Yankees. The Yankees have had a spectacular offense all playoffs long, and they look to continue that here in Game 5. The Red Sox batting order is center fielder Mookie Betts, followed by D.H. Brock Holt. Batting third and playing third is Pablo Sandoval, cleaning things up is Hanley Ramirez, followed by right fielder Gerardo Parra, first baseman Alan Craig, second baseman Yon Moncada, catching is Blake Swihart, and in the nine hole is the shortstop Xander Bogarts. While the Yankees turn for the first time this postseason to the young right-hander Luis Severino, stands six feet tall, making his first ever postseason start as a 22-year-old rookie. And Mookie Betts digs into the batter's box to lead off this ballgame. He has mightily struggled in this ALCS. He is only 2 for 17 in that leadoff spot. All American League Championship Series long. As the first pitch from Severino is in there for strike one, taken. Count runs to 0-2 now on Betts. Severino sets and fires. Swung through the slider. He goes down, swinging. And that's one down here in this top half of the first. And now here comes Brock Holt, who is also struggling. 3 for 17 in the series. He has one RBI, however, which was the go-ahead run in the sole win for the Red Sox as the first pitch was Severino's taken for strike one. Severino rocking the baggy pants, usually rocking the high. And that's a ground ball right back to Severino. He'll toss over to first, and that's two retired as Holt is retired. That's two down in this top half of the first inning. And that brings up the three-hitter in Pablo Sandoval, who once again is also struggling, only 2 for 16 on the day with a solo shot. 2 for 16 in the ALCS with a solo shot correction, as the first pitch to him is taken for ball one, outside. Kent runs 1-2 now, Severino turns, kicks, and fires. That's swung on and popped up into right field. Judge is camped under it, sky high and into his mitt, as that's retired for out number three of this top half of the first inning. We're still scoreless between the Yankees and the Red Sox here in game five. Welcome back to the Game 5 of the ALCS. The New York Yankees lineup is center fielder Jacoby Ellsbury, followed by second baseman Ronnie Torres, third baseman Todd Frazier, DH Tom Ullman, right fielder Aaron Judge, catching is Brian McCann, first baseman Kyle Parker, left fielder Brett Gardner, and shortstop Jed Lowry. They will be facing the left-hander, making also his first start of the postseason in Wade Miley. He was 7-13 with a 3.71 in the regular season. Like I said, this is his first start of the postseason. A risky, a very bold move by manager John Farrell. And here comes Jacoby Ellsbury to lead off this bottom half of the first against his former team. There's not a single hitter in this Yankees lineup who is struggling in the playoffs. As the first pitch to Ellsbury is taken on the outside half for strike one. So it's 1-2 count now on Ellsbury. Here comes the pitch. As that's taken for strike three, he cannot pull the trigger, and Ellsbury goes down on the backwards K. So there's one out. Now as Ronnie Torres digs into the batter's box. Right-handed bat facing left-handed Miley. Here comes pitch number one. That's swung on and taken back up the middle, past each fielder and into center field for a base knock from Ronnie Torres. Getting the nod in the second hit position, hitting against the left-handed pitcher, as he usually rakes against them and proves that there. So Todd Frazier digs in now. And there goes Torres. Takes off for a second. He's in there with a stolen base. Frazier swung through it, so it's a strike. But Ronnie Torres has himself in scoring position now with one out. No one count on Frazier. The pitch is granted a shortstop. Fielded by Bogart. Slips across the infield, and Frazier is retired for out number two. And that brings up the cleanup hitter in Tom Ullman. He's got one home run with two RBI so far in the ALCS. Here comes the first pitch to him. Taken on the outside half for strike one. A little bit of a risky call there. 2-2 two -two count now. 
Miley looks down the runner. Here comes the pitch. That's swung on and popped up opposite way. Right field. That's back. Para is at the track, and he catches it right at the wall for out number three as we are still scoreless here at the end of one in game five. Welcome back to this bottom half of the second inning here in Game 5 of the ALCS. Aaron Judge, who's hitting an even 500 in the ALCS, digs in. First pitch from Miley is swung on, and that's taken into the left center gap. That'll roll up against the wall as Judge is rounding second, heading, rounding first, heading into second, and he's going to be in there with an easy stand-up double. Is Aaron Judge. First pitch swinging, and he starts off the inning with a bang. That brings up Brian McCann, the cleanup hitting catcher. Eight home runs total in the postseason, two in this ALCS. As with the runner on second, here comes the first pitch taken for ball one, a little bit high. 1-0 count now, here it comes. Swung on and taken down the right field line. That's a fair ball. Judge rounds third. He's coming to the plate. He'll score without a throw as the throw goes to the cutoff man. And Brian McCann has himself an RBI single. And it's a 1-0 Yankees. They strike first in this one. That brings up Kyle Parker, who this is only his second game playing of the all playoffs. And the first pitch to him is in there, right in the middle for strike one. McCann at first base. 3-1 count on Parker. Miley gets set and delivers. That's swung on and driven out the left center field. That's back. That's back. It's gone. Kyle Parker, the former Clemson Tigers quarterback and outfielder Kyle Parker delivers with his second home run of the postseason and that's a two run shot to give the Yankees a 3-0 lead here in this bottom half of the second inning so with two outs Jacoby Ellsbury digs in now left handed Ellsbury facing left handed Miley first pitch to him is swung on and that's driven at the center field back at the track is Betts and he'll retire for Ellsbury on the long pop fly but not before the Yankees strike for three, as it's a 3-0 Yankees lead at the end of two here in Game 5. Welcome back to Game 5 of the ALCS. It's the bottom half of the eighth inning. Yankees still up 3-0. And Jacoby Ellsbury is leading off the inning, facing uh, reliever Alexia Gondo. Ellsbury lays down a bunt. He's going to hustle down the line. Throw, beats him to first base, and that's an infield... Put out for Pablo Sandoval. Nice play, barehanded scoop. And that brings up Torres. First pitch to him is swung on and clobbered at the right center field. That's back. Did that just happen? Ronnie Torres, the man who hit only one home run all season long, has hit his first postseason home run. Ronnie Torres makes it a 4 0 Yankees lead, padding on some insurance runs. And it's now 4-0 as Edward Mujica will come on to relieve Alexia Gondo for the Red Sox. A 36 ERA in one appearance. Not very good at all. He'll be facing Tom Ullman, who's over three on the day with two outs. So here comes the pitch from Mujica. First pitch swinging, grounded a shortstop. Fielded by Bogarts, whips across the infield, and that's three outs. Not before Ronnie Torreya strikes on a solo shot, his first of the postseason. It's 4-0 Yankees at the end of the eighth as we head to the top half of the ninth. Welcome back to Game 5 of the ALCS as Dellen Batances comes out of the bullpen looking for his fourth save of the postseason in his sixth appearance. And he'll be facing Blake Swihart with a 4-0 lead. 3-1 count to Swihart. The pitch from Batances. Curveball misses the bottom half of the strike zone. That's ball four. Blake Swihart is walked. The leadoff man in the inning takes first base. Not a good start for Batances. Xander Bogarts now digs in. He's the nine hitter. One for two in the day with a single. The runner on first is Swihart. The pitch to Bogarts. Swung through for strike one. 96 on the gun outside half. Still 0-1 count as Batantis sets at the chest. Here comes the pitch. And it's going to be swung on and softly popped up into foul territory. Third base side. Frazier's there. And he retires Bogarts for out number one. Swihart stays at first base. That'll bring up Mookie Betts now, the leadoff hitter. One for three on the day with a single back in the fourth inning. Batantis sets and delivers. 
And that's driven at the left field. Back to the track is Gardner. He looks up, gives chase, but that's into the seats as Mookie Betts connects with a two-run shot here in this top half of the ninth inning as Dylan Batances really struggling. And it's going to be a 4-2 to two Yankees lead now. They still have a two-run lead, but they're going to have to walk on tight ropes to get to this one as the middle of the order is coming up. First pitch to Brock Holt is taken up and in for a 98-mile-per-hour fastball strike. 0-1 count now on Holt. Batanza sets at the chest and delivers. That's a ground ball to first base. Fielded by Parker. He'll step on the bag himself, and that's two down in the inning as Brock Holt is retired. And now with two outs, that'll bring up the three-hitter in Pablo Sandoval. The Boston Red Sox' last hope on the season all rests on this man right here. Two outs, first pitch. Taken for strike one up and in, 97 mile per hour. High cheese. Ken runs the 2-2 now on Sandoval. Here comes the pitch. That's swung on and popped up into shallow left field. Brett Gardner is camped under it. And he'll put that one away as that'll do it. The New York Yankees are heading to the 2016 World Series with a 4-1 series victory over their arch-rival Boston Red Sox. And they'll be taking on the former Brooklyn Dodgers, now Los Angeles Dodgers, in the 2016 World Series. The Yankees entered this postseason as the second wild card team, and they beat the Royals in Kansas City, moved on to face the Indians, where they were the road team for the majority of the series, and they won three games to one in that ALDS, moved on to face the first place in the AL East team, Boston Red Sox, where they won four games to one and have clinched a berth to the World Series led by Luis Severino's night of seven innings strong, only giving up two hits and ten strikeouts on the day. Congratulations to the New York Yankees, your American League champions.